Well, it is rated uh, by those who write about these matters and pontificate upon these matters, it is rated a seriously bold decision. A young man straight out of school, straight into the New Zealand cricket team for the second test against England. The Pakistanis, they've got uh, Shahid Afridi, of course, the bulky batsman bowler who recently smashed the world's best all over the park. He's 16. But now Mr Steve Rickson and the New Zealand selectors have got Daniel Vittori. Now, Daniel is fresh out of Waikato's St Paul's Collegiate. He's only just turned 18 years old. Daniel's with me in Wellington Live. Hello. Hello there. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. I suppose the first thing I want to ask you really is about the specs. People have been curious about that today. We don't often see the cricketers um, photographed, you know, with spectacles. Do you, do you need them to play? Or? Yeah, I certainly do. And I've been called interesting things for them as well by the press. I bet, yes. Yeah. What do you mean you need them to play? You can't see the Oh, wickets? well, I can't see, but I'd rather keep them on. Do you have to have special ones? They look fairly delicate. Yeah, of. they are pretty special, yeah. I see. Have you got over the shock yet, Daniel, anyway? Um, yeah, it started to hit me today because I was in camp with the team today and... It was really good to be with them today, so start, the shock's starting to wear off and just excitement now. And how have they treated you since you, since you fell in with the team and uh, met them? And They've been very welcoming. Mm. They've been very good to me. and Been encouraging. Accept, ex yeah, exactly. Accepted me as part of the team. Because you must be very nervous. Oh, I was, definitely. When I first heard about it, it was very nerve-wracking, but sort of being part of the team now has helped me a lot. Because two first-class games so far is what you've played. That's right, yeah. What are they telling you about what kind of a leap it's going to be from from domestic first-class games into test level? Well, there hasn't been too much talk of it. Everyone's just been saying you just got to do the same thing you've been doing to get picked for it, and if you do that well, well, you're going to you're going to succeed. And what are they telling you exactly? What, how, how are they how are they dealing with your nerves? I mean, if you're a little bit nervous. Oh, I haven't had re really anything. I mean, my parents have been very helpful, and. Um, my Northern Districts coach has come and talked to me and said, just um, as I said before, go, go, about, go about things the way you have been already. The way you've been doing it, because Shane yeah. Warne, he's a left arm spinner too, isn't he? No, he's a, he's a right arm spinner, actually. I see, they just told me that Shane Warne's left oh, arm. They've got you. Rats. <laughs> Great. First night back and I call Shane Warne a left hand. <laughs> You'll forgive that, of course, Daniel, yeah, I'm well, sure. Yeah, no Won't problem. be the last time I'll be wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, what, now, to tell me how you got the, the nod, a phone call came actually came home and uh, my mother gave me a message to ring Ross Dykes and um, it was a very big surprise and I had a little thought in the back of my head that maybe it might be a call up and I gave him a ring and he said you're in the squad for the test against um, the England team in Wellington. And what did you say? I said, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Did he say that I know you're young but we look after you? Yeah, he said, oh, I mean, there's people there who want you to play and, and age is only a number. And so we're very welcome to have you. They've made a commitment to you for... Um, four tests, the rest of the tests, yeah. So if you don't, you know, if things don't go too well this weekend, if you get a bit of the butterflies, things don't happen quite so quickly, it's not the end of the world. That's right. They said that they'll be looking at me for the four tests and hopefully I can perform for all of them. What were you planning? I mean, what kind of... Is this a cricket career now? I mean, what kind oh, of career were you planning? I was planning to go to varsity this year, going down to Waikato, but I'm, I'm still um, hoping to do that, even around the cricket. Right, so you're not giving the varsity away? No, no, not at all. What were you going to do at the varsity? I was going to do a first year health sciences course at Waikato. Okay. See how that went. So it wasn't a hard decision to say yes to Mr. Dykes? Not at all, no. Mr. Rickson been nice? He has so far, yes. He Seems has. to be a good man, doesn't he? Yeah, he is. And the team have been welcoming? They're very welcoming, yes. Good luck. Everybody in this country is going to be watching you on Thursday. Thank you very much. Good luck, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. No problem. Now, that is Daniel Vittori, 18 years old. Good luck to him this week. Now, two small Auckland girls had a very big night on Saturday. They played